Okie dokie, what are you going to teach us today? So for our next tip Tuesday, we're going to be talking about watering. So you can bottom water or you can overhead water. So we're going to you know, just show you both <laughs> techniques. So here we have a saucer, you can use that or, or a, a bowl or something else that can, that can hold water. Mom. And all we're doing then is um, you're just getting your plants if it's time to water. This is really good if you've only got like a small collection or just a small garden like with pots. Potted uh, succulents, um, these work really well. Whereas for our setup, there we've got thousands of plants, and bottom watering would take a very, very long time, <laughs> long time to do it all. So uh, we overhead irrigate uh, by hand. So all you're doing, you're just filling up the saucer with water, popping the plant in there. Um, you'll see that it's it's quite dry, the mix, but the plant actually is actually looking quite good. So. Uh, that can take a couple of hours or a bit longer for that water to soak all the way through that soil. So you'll just come back later uh, and once you notice that the top part of the the potting mix there is wet, we, it's time to take it out. So what you want to do then is you want to allow that soil to completely drain or dry out before your next watering. So you don't want to keep constantly watering say like daily or every second day because uh, you just not allowing those roots to take in all the oxygen you're just blocking all those um, pockets in the soil and that's can be a cause of rotting so we want to allow that to completely drain and um, so these we've got a good example here of this echeveria blueprints so this is the exactly the same batch um, you'll notice this one it's quite wrinkly the leaves they're soft um, it just looks really thirsty which which it is whereas this one here is looking nice and plump can even feel it nice and plump that there's good, a nice amount of water in there. So that one's not ready for a drink yet. We're going to leave that one uh, for a little while then and just monitor it. So all we're going to do here, we overhead water, so we just use our u butte hose. Um, pretty much just imitates the rain. So all, what rain? We, no, sorry. <laughs> well, we haven't had a lot lately, but uh, it's looking good over this next week. So. Um, so all we're doing then is we're just giving it a good squirt of water. You're watching the soil drain, or uh, sorry, the water drain all the way through the soil. We'll give that a hit a few times, so you know that the soil is completely wet inside there. And then all we're going to do then is just set that aside, pretty much like that, the plant here with the bottom watering, um, and just let that slowly dry, drain away. You don't want to constantly wet it like each day. Give it a little bit here, give it a little bit there. Um, it's it's not recommended there that's another re reason that it can rot as well so um what no. happens if you water it too much well if you're watering it too much yeah the the plants will will take in too much water through the leaves through this and can potentially cause those cells to burst uh which they call that edema so you will notice the leaves will split um, and they can be like a bit of scabbing, which is just like a scar. Is it? Oh no, it's not on the not metal. Not on just the <laughs> metal nose. I was just, just again, okay, explaining sorry. that. Um, so yeah, you don't want to overwater too much. If you're not sure whether your plant needs to water or over, or, or needs to water, or just leave it. You always on the safe. The safer side is to always leave it. Um, give it that extra day. You can always um, get the plant back to full health if it's underwatered than watering it too much because if you water too much you're going to get that rot and it's a lot harder to save a plant that way than it just looking really thirsty so um, another way of watering is early early morning so you want to do it uh, almost at the crack of dawn particularly through summer so then you've got that whole morning before the heat of the day uh, reaches its peak um, that most of the soil will already dry up because um, if you're watering it in the middle of the day, the, the soil actually, if you feel it, can get really hot, especially if it's water um, watered. And um, yeah, it can, it can cause all sorts of problems. So lately, because we've got a lot of our stock in small pots, they dry out way too quick, especially with the days where we're having high 30s or 40 degree days. So I've been actually watering a really late at night time. Just trying um, to give you the Thank hose. you, darling. Uh, really late at night time, it gives it the whole night to drain for that for the plants to take in that water through the morning, and then we're hoping that when the sun or the heat yeah, reaches its peak through the day, most of that water has drained away. So, uh, and I found it quite helpful as well. So, it's just another way of doing it. 
with watering, how frequently, through summer, you want to probably do it about once, once a week, maybe once a fortnight, and then as we go into the cooler months, you start backing off on that watering. Uh, you can get up to a stage where you're doing it once a month, or or you may already have an, as an established succulent garden, you don't worry about it, you let the rain do it, but lately, it's probably a good idea just to water them anyway, because we've just had no rain, <laughs> pretty much, which is really sad, so... Um, that's just a way of doing it. I hope it helps and answers some questions. Um, just keep firing questions at, uh, to us if, if there's something there that you don't understand or need to know more information. So basically just depends on your climate. Pretty much, much yeah. So we're, we're in Mudgee here. We're on a very dry climate, so the humidity is quite low. Um, whereas if you're on the coast, you're going to have a lot higher humidity. So you're going to have to be even more careful with your watering because the plants can actually absorb that moist that humidity the moisture through the air um so whereas here they're not doing it so often so you have to water a bit more regularly